The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. The ring passed out of all knowledge. I hear it's going to be a party of special magnificence. But a disturber of the peace. I'm old, Gandalf. I know I don't look it, but I'm beginning to feel it in my heart. I feel thin, sort of stretched, like butter scraped over too much bread. I need a holiday, and I don't expect I shall return. In fact, I mean not to. My dear Bagginses and Buffins, Dukes and Brandy Bucks, Rubs, Jumps, Wallflowers, Bulgers, Brace Carlos, and Foots. Today is my 111th birthday. The last 71 years is far too short a time to live among such excellent and admirable hobbits. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. I regret to announce this is the end. I'm going now. Goodbye. You will keep an eye on Frodo, won't you? Two eyes. Yeah. As often as I can spare them. Is there an envelope over there on the mantelpiece? Mm. No. Wait, it's... Here in my pocket. <laughs> isn't, that, isn't that odd now? Yes. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I keep it? Well, no. And yes. Now it comes to it. I don't feel like parting with it. I am not trying to rob you. Trying to help you. I thought up an ending for my book. And he lived happily ever after. To the end of his days. Until our next meeting. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. It's quite cool. The language is that of Mordor. Common tongue, it says one ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, find them. Don't tempt me, Frodo! Hobbits really are amazing creatures. You can learn all that there is to know about their ways in a month, and yet after a hundred years, they can still surprise you. If you follow me, don't turn me in anything. Unnatural. The enemy has many spies in his service. The ring is trying to get back to its master. Remember what Bilbo used to say? It's a dangerous business, Frodo. Going out your door, you step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. I gave you the chance of it. Oh, oh. Aiding me willingly, but you have elected the way of pain! All right, young sir, I meant no offense. It's my job to ask questions after night. What his right name is, I've never heard, but round here, he's known as Strider. I can avoid being seen if I wish. You have a stout heart. What did they eat when they can't get a hobbit? <laughs> Where the other four are, I do not know. <laughs> Naralim, Naralim. Of Elrond, and it is ten o'clock in the morning on October the twenty-fourth. If you want to know, Gandalf. Yes, I'm here, and you're lucky to be here too. A few more hours, and you would have been beyond our aid. But you have some strength in you. You won't be a hobbit. I was delayed. The friendship of Sodom is not lightly thrown aside. 
Sam must hardly lift your sight. Hello, Frodo, my lad. The enemy is moving. The time of the elves is over. The blood of Numenor is all but spent. Its pride and dignity forgotten. You are a Sealdor there, not a Sealdor himself. Bring forth the ring, Frodo. A dream. I saw the eastern sky grow dark, but in the west a pale light lingered. A voice was crying, your doom is near at hand. Isildur's bane is found. Never before has any voice uttered the words of that tongue here in Imladris. Do not ask your pardon, Master Elrond, for the black speech of Mordor may yet be heard in every corner of the West. It is a gift, a gift to the foes of Mordor. He is Aragorn, son of Aragorn. The ring cannot be destroyed, Gimli, son of Gloin, by any craft that we here possess. I will take the ring to Mordor. No. I do not know the way. I will help you bear this burden, Frodo Baggins. As long as it is yours to bear. No, indeed, it is hardly possible to separate you even when he is summoned to a secret council and you are not. The ring bearer is setting out on the quest of Mount Doom. No oath nor bond is laid to go further than you will. May the blessings of elves and men and all free folk go with you. It is a strange fate that we should suffer so much fear and doubt over so small a thing. Such a little thing. As you wish. I care not. There is a fell voice on the air. The dwarves delved too greedily and too deep. There are many powers in this world for good or for evil. Some are greater than I am. And against some I have not yet been tested. The doors of Durin, Lord of Moria. Speak, friend, and enter if you are a friend. You speak the password and the doors will open.